You know, those of you who love Is that fun. why you didn't come to do showbiz yesterday? Yes, reason why. Reason why I'm presenting this to you. So, are you okay now? Is it supposed now? to be a bribe? I'm not bribing you. You need to read this. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, here's a report from yesterday. With great pleasure that I would like to unveil to you Art and the Power of Goodness, a collection of John Ajekum Kufuor, forwarded by Gordon Brown and written by Ivo Ajemanjia with a poetry compliment, Keeper of the Remains. Congratulations once again to former President Kufuor for sharing your collection. God bless you and God bless our homeland Ghana. Fine arts, according to Gustavo Corbett, is knowledge made visible. On Tuesday at the French Embassy, a section of fine arts lovers were for the first time introduced to a collection of arts by the former President Jacob Four in a book titled Arts and the Power of Goodness. The book highlights beautiful, rare collections of arts from across the world collected by the former President. This collection shows much of a lover of fine arts President Kufour is. Ivor Ajamandia is the author of this book. Art is universal, and to the extent that it's universal, there are values in art that will help with our own personal development. It, help, it will also help with social development, it will help at the end with national development. We look at art and we look at the level of creativity in the country so we can use art to also measure the level of creativity in the country and of course the works of the objects in these are national and international you we are not only talking about Ghanaian and west african objects or art we're also talking about the east and southeast asia and what we have in common with them and what we don't have in common with them so is uh, views coming together histories coming together and then humanity coming together. But how do we as a country develop love or pay attention to the arts even though it remains a taste for a section of the public? Nana Santi Bedieto is executive secretary to the president Kufuado. You're right in the sense that not many people actually are into fine art, uh, paintings and sculpture, you know, where somebody's labor of love is involved. You know, a lot of the stuff you buy for decorating, they're made in factories in China or something. But I think the important thing is to have outlets where people, you know, sometimes people take their children to the mall on Sundays just to have some to do now if we had a lot of museums or galleries or contemporary spaces for art people might want to do that and through publicity and education in schools um, you will uh, get more people uh, interested interested in art yeah. for someone like me who is gradually growing fond of fine arts people like Her Excellency Madame Anne-Sophie Avi, Ambassador of France to Ghana, should be my inspiration. I think that the, the way I see it is uh, from the natural disorder of, of something like, you know, uh, chaos of nature, uh, men, when they uh, suddenly want to dominate it, make something very graphic, very organized, and you see the people are lined up very uh, neatly. So, yeah, we, like we bring order to the nature, and nature uh, brings food to us. But that's a very personal. Uh, oh, yeah, so which, which is which is very good. Which is why you're in a better position to advise, you know, Ghanaians uh, out there who are watching us. Um, I, the, I think the importance of you know appreciating yes art. I think someone else would probably see a house that looks like a family house mm -hmm. or reminds them of, of a village maybe see some water and and see a river and suddenly it will bring memories or histories from the river that's the way I see it because uh, I don't know maybe of my culture yeah. but what's important is that everyone sees something because again it's it's uh, a, a dialogue yeah. between your emotions and the artist's emotions that he has depicted uh, given life to uh, through a painting 
At the end, Ghana can only begin to pay attention to the arts and explore its world like the former President Jay Kofor did. The art and the power of goodness, a collection of John Ajekum Kofor, should be an interesting read. Right, so um, yeah. pretty in incredible photos in there and some art pieces. I, liked, I particularly like the one where he's presented as a, a cop. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, yeah. they have one. And then there's also this lovely photo of uh, the Ther wife. Yeah, Teresa. Teresa. Young Teresa. You okay. <laughs> if you can see that. Yeah. So cute. Yeah. Do you love the present? Yeah. Look at you enjoying it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the book. Okay, so I'm going to keep it as you've given it to me. Yeah, so let's stay on the yard. You're so not going to ask for it again, are you? No. No. Why should I? You're confusing me. I will <laughs> keep it for you, you know, before okay, we're done right. with it. Let's go on. Because right? no. for somebody who has championed highlight music for, um, you know, so many years. So he said this at the vetting yesterday. He was uh, being vetted for uh, the, the deputy, deputy minister. Yeah. Right. So, Marco Kwekumanti. Thank you, Anabote. Her life has actually not gone for it to come back. It is it's a, it's an evolution of sound. If you listen to the 70s 